The Nigeria Automobile Design Development Council has presented electric vehicles manufactured by the Council to the federal government. Mr. Jelani Aliyu, Director General of the Council, presented samples of the vehicles to Chief Sharon Ikazo, Minister of State for Environment in Abuja. Aliyu explained that investment, production, structural infrastructure development, as well as standard skills and market development were five key elements the agency was looking into to revive production in the country. Nigeria is truly blessed. When the world needed oil, we had oil. Now that the world is moving to cleaner gases, we have it. There's really a lot happening. A lot of people are employed. Uh, by estimate, uh, there's about 50,000 youth or 50,000 Nigerians d uh, employed either directly or indirectly in the Nigerian automotive sector and growing. NADDC, under its uh, training centers programs and manpower development, has we speak, has trained over 20,000 youth across the country. We've been doing this uh, through third-party uh, uh, workshops. So we decided to build our own workshops. Okay. Yes. So, so far we have built six of them, one in each geopolitical zone. So in the southwest, we have it in Oshogbo, southeast Abakaliki, uh, south, uh, south in uh, Benin, north central Lokoja, southeast Bochi, sorry, northeast Bochi, northwest uh, uh, Zamfara. This will be locations uh, with all the necessary training modules and equipment to empower young Nigerians in mechatronics so that they're able to understand new technologies, fix those vehicles, and most importantly, be in a position to, to lead and create better lives for themselves, add value to the society and the nation in general. We decided to strategize and develop 100% solar-powered electric vehicle charging stations. Uh, the first one was commissioned in Sokoto, then Lagos, now we're working towards the one in the University of Nigeria in Suka. And we decided to put them in universities so that not just to prove the concept, but to get young Nigerians as part of the program, understand this technology, kick it, feel it, and in a few years come up with solutions better than, than these. Responding, Ikazo said the partnership would help the country achieve the nationally determined contributions of the Paris Agreement. You're partnering with us and coming up with your car. Your electric vehicles ties in with our NDCs that we have committed to reduce our emissions by 20% unconditionally, that is by our own selves, then reducing by 47% with the help from international uh, donor partners. We are going to COP, and part of COP is to reaffirm our commitments to the Paris Agreement, but at the same time, discuss other issues surrounding the Paris Agreement as it affects Nigeria, not only Nigeria, but Africa. The minister, after moving the vehicle around the ministry's premises, said it drove smooth, was soundless, and the vehicle testing, an awesome experience. I would work towards getting one myself. It's eco-friendly, no sound. I told you about that there was really no sound. The only sound I could hear was just a bit of the tires moving, the engine, no sound, no heat. You saw us open the bonnet. You couldn't touch the bonnet or the engine of an uh, electric, um, what's it called? Petrol uh, fueled car. But this one you could, yeah. And no smoke as well, no emissions. That's the key thing.